if you want to learn more about Boots Watch, so you can go here to Boots Watch. I'm just Googling Boots Watch, and that is, um, this, this, these are all of the themes that you have here. Uh, and you can even add different themes as they develop. So say Shiny doesn't have one of the themes that you want, you can actually download this. So this one's called Sketchy. And, um, and I can actually download this and, and put it into my app um, in the www folder. And I'm actually going to show you um, next how to add some, uh, some custom CSS. So uh, it's pretty cool. What you could do is just um, just download this. Uh, I believe you can. There's a there's a way to download it on the website. So if I sketchy, if I uh, download this minified CSS file, download that, show it in my folder, and then if I if I put that into my www folder. So the shiny themes library is great, but sometimes you may want to add in a minified CSS. And in the last lesson, we, we downloaded the sketchy theme uh, by clicking this on uh, and, and downloading the, this minified CSS file. And if I want to use that, what I can do is I can actually just comment out these lines here and we can use um, uh, this from the tags. If I hit dollar sign, there's a head element. And what this will do is it'll, it'll actually allow us to modify the head of our website. And the head is where you can link up to all sorts of custom style sheets or custom JavaScript um, uh, .js files and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tags dollar sign And I'm going to um, hit tab and, and get the link. Okay, and what link does is it allows us to link up to our style sheet. So we're gonna type in rel here. And this is just something that, um, how, how you would link up to a, a CSS style sheet. So I'm gonna type in style sheet. And then I'm going to hit a comma. I'm gonna set type equal to text slash CSS. And then I'm going to hit eight or I'm going to type in href. And I'm going to set this equal to bootstrap the, the file name here, bootstrap min dot CSS. And when I hit the save here, all goes well. Now if I go to my viewer and refresh it, it now has the, um, the new custom style sheet that I've uh, downloaded. And you can see how everything gets customized here.